Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing a video on the Flash, Supergirl, and Arrow. We have various different pieces of news that I wanted to go over, so I'm putting it all into one video so you can sort of consolidate the recent news in case you don't know what's going on, and, you know, I can update you on that. So we've got, like, a little piece of really exciting news, and then we've got some other, you know, updates as to you know, maybe a new cast member coming to Supergirl and so on. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so, first off we're going to start with the sort of breaking news. A few days ago, YVR Shoots was teasing on their Twitter that the Supergirl set was on lockdown. Essentially, they were really trying to hide something, and apparently there was a new suited person, and Someone reached out to me, who was on the set, who's a photographer, and apparently it's David Harewood. So, apparently we're getting a new Martian Manhunter suit. I think that's amazing, I think that's a brilliant idea. So they were keeping that under wraps, so, you know, they're changing it obviously quite a bit, because otherwise they wouldn't really care to actually hide it. But yeah, it seems Martian Manhunter's going to be getting a new suit. I haven't seen this reported anywhere, so this is sort of like breaking news for you guys to get excited about. So. What changes would you like to see? How would you like to see, you know, Martian Manhunter change? Does this mean we'll see Martian Manhunter a lot more? Because, as you know, recently, we don't really get to see Martian Manhunter actually that much. And, to be honest, his suit in the TV show is actually fairly comic book accurate. He just sort of has this different type of cape than some versions of Martian Manhunter where he kind of has this really, really, like, massive cape around him and... This suit that we have on the TV show is a bit more armoured, so maybe they go for something a bit more like that, maybe a bit more comic book accurate. Again, Martian Manhunter's suit has actually changed quite a lot in the comics, so it could be any iteration. It's just your guess. So, anyway, let's move on to the next piece of information. And so the next piece of information, that's massive news, is that Supergirl is going to be upgrading James's sister for a series regular role in season 5 and so you might be like who the hell is James's sister we have never seen her and that's true we haven't seen her so she's been played by Azzy Tesfaye and so she is going to be premiering next episode and she's set to be a recurring character throughout this season throughout season 4 and she's officially been announced that she's going to be a series regular next season and so this is amazing news for her and everyone but I'm a little bit confused because we've never seen her they obviously have some story they want to tell, but again, it hasn't been showcased yet, so I'm very, very actually surprised that this is already, like, they've announced this. This is crazy, because, again, we sort of have these different characters leaving and coming back, and then we get this new character that just kind of comes in and is now a regular, and I'm kind of a bit surprised and shocked at the same time like I have nothing against her I'm sure she's gonna be great it's just we haven't seen her yet and it's kind of shocking actually that you know they do that I don't know why it's just like kind of crazy in my mind anyway so a lot of people have been theorizing online you know there was these uh, photos that were released for the latest Supergo episode and you see Alex with James's sister at the hospital because you know James got shot last episode so maybe she's a replacement for James if James dies which I highly doubt he would actually die but people have been theorizing online there is going to be a relationship between her and Alex and that might be Alex's new girlfriend that she's you know trying to build up again as teased a few episodes ago she's trying to actually get back into the game and she's going to try and you know get a child essentially sometime you know next season or the season after or whenever she's ready to do that and so people have been theorizing that maybe that's what she's going to be mainly doing maybe that's why she's a regular next season I think that would be exciting but obviously we just have to wait until we see her before we can get too excited but for now I'm just a bit shocked and a bit like huh because again we haven't seen her yet so I look forward to her next episode hopefully she's really good then you know, maybe we can be a bit more like, yes, because right now we don't really know what to think. And so I mentioned this the other day, and this is more on the lines of The Flash, and so they officially announced that Todd Helbing, the showrunner, 
since season four is going to be stepping down he's going to be going on other sort of journeys in the cw and on warner brothers and so on so i think he's just stepping down maybe because of differences maybe because you know season four wasn't well regarded and season five i don't i don't know why it would be season five i think season five is very good but i think it's mainly just him stepping down i don't think it's like the CW has any problems with Todd helping or anything, like, you know, Andrew Kreisberg getting fired. I think Todd's choice to do this was probably his own choice, so I don't think there's any friction. But, yeah, so they really, really praised, well, Greg Berlanti really, really praised Todd. So he says, from his first day on The Flash, Todd Helbing has been a leader on the show, beloved by the cast and crew for his exceptional talent, vision, and wonderful attitude. So he's going to be replaced by the current co-executive producer of the show, and that is Eric Wallace. So Eric has been around for a while, I believe since season four, and he's written, I think, a few episodes. So I know he did a few last season, and I, as far as I remember, they were some of the best ones. So that's a very, very exciting thing, but also... At the same time, it's a little bit worrying because I think he joined in Season 4 and, you know, Season 4 wasn't the best thing. But I think the way we should view it is it's new. It's a new, fresh technique, new sort of vision that they're going for, I guess, with Eric. And so this is probably the best thing that can happen, you know, changing, maybe going back to a more traditional Flash type way. And I'm using that in inverted commas. Maybe it's like going back to basics and they trust him with this maybe Todd was going in a different direction I have no idea but anyway so let's move on to one of my final topics and this topic is that the Arrow showrunner Beth Schwartz is going to be working still with Warner Brothers TV so as you know the other day Arrow was officially announced that it's going to be ending and it's going to be its final season in season 8 next season with 10 episodes and Beth Schwartz, if you didn't know, she's been sort of helming the show this season, and so she's a showrunner. And so the big news is, yes, they really, really love what she's doing, and she's going to be continuing to help, essentially, all these other shows. Maybe it is for the CW, but again, I reckon it's going to be lots of different shows. She's probably going to showrun a new show because they were really impressed and I think a lot of people are liking Arrow this season. Like I said before, I'm a little bit behind, but from what I've seen from the episodes I watched, you know, I was really, really impressed with this season so far and I intend to catch up probably in the next few days or a few weeks or so. And so the final thing I want to talk about, and this is some statements from Grant Gustin as in regards to Arrow actually ending. So he says this, it kind of just hit me this morning that Arrow will be leaving us next year, Grant Gustin said. Ever since I started doing this, it's always been Flash and Arrow. Or really, this should have said Arrow and Flash. It's on the cover, right, Stephen? We don't get to see a lot of each other because we work very similar schedules on different shows for nine and a half months out of the year. But when we're brought together for those grueling crossover episodes, it results... In something pretty special and so that was Grant Gustin's statement on you know them actually ending the show because it was again it was such a shock to everyone and you know Grant was introduced as the Flash through Arrow you know it's always been Arrow and Flash as he said and I really really was shocked and I'm still shocked and I seriously can't believe it because I remember you know, a few years ago, well, more than a few years ago, but when Arrow was in, like, season three, that's when I probably started, so at the end of The Flash season one, and I was, like, so into the shows that I had no sleep at all. I, you know, binge-watched season three, you know, all the way up to season three, and it was just, like, the best thing, and I was obsessed, and I'm still obsessed, and... You know, it's so shocking and so sad at the same time. And it's really kind of comforting to see, you know, Grant, who's been around since very early days, you know, commenting on this because it, it really, really touches you. So let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of this whole slew of information in this video? Are you excited that Martian Manhunter is going to 
be getting a new suit as far as we know and then also are you excited about the Supergirl massive you know casting news that she's going to be around well this is Kelly Olsen James's sister played by Azzy Tesfaye that she's going to be around as a series regular next season are you excited for her in the next episode and also what are your thoughts on the executive producer actually stepping down and we have Eric Rollis actually taking over the role and finally what do you think are you happy for Beth that she's you know going on and still working with Warner Brothers I certainly am because I think she's doing a really good job on Arrow right now so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later goodbye